again, we have that role reversal and intense celebration of women when they perform masculinity, but not femininity. Perhaps you've been taught that traditional femininity is weak and that it is a self-betrayal to a woman to embrace it fully. Now today's video is inspired by so many of you who have left me very common comments on YouTube, comments on Instagram. I have seen this crop up all the time and it is the question of how to begin with femininity when you're starting at zero. Now I do believe that femininity is a journey. I also think it's accessible to all women. There are so many reasons and circumstances that can often cause women to either lose touch with their femininity or perhaps never explore it in the first place. I see you, I love you, and I am so happy that you are here. Firstly, please know that you are not alone in this journey. Now probably more than ever, Ever before in the history of time, women seem to be, by and large, out of touch with their femininity, either because of a confusion of the definition of femininity, lack of understanding of how to live it out, or merely because they were never brought up to value femininity in the first place. We have a ton of role reversal going on right now in our society, and it is common to see women celebrated, yes, but typically they are celebrated for performing masculinity, whereas traditional femininity is is often devalued, pushed by the wayside, scorned, and seen as something undesirable. Now this is more common than ever if you are from the West. It could be completely different in other parts of the world, but right now in the West, I do feel like there is this battle going on to preserve traditional femininity and to celebrate women who wish to express it. I think that there are a few specific reasons why women might not be in touch with their femininity. First of all, a lot of women are never taught. Their mothers never valued femininity, never tried to teach them, or it was shirked off altogether. Many other women, maybe they weren't interested in femininity ever before in their life, but suddenly you're feeling kind of intrigued with the topic. That is also very common. We change as we age and we go through different stages in life. I am much more interested in femininity femininity than I was six, seven, eight years ago. For others, femininity might never have crossed your mind. It might have never been a priority, or you could have even had a bias or a negative view of it. Others still might reject their femininity as a defense me mechanism after going through a difficult or traumatic situation. It is very common for women to reject their femininity after going through a traumatic situation and to instead rely on traditionally masculine traits as a form of self-defense or fortification. I believe that femininity is inherent in all women. No matter how masculine you might feel, I believe all women can tap into it. It is a special and empowering posture that can help you experience life in a completely different way. So I have created a seven-step process to help you with this journey. So let's begin with number one. You're going to want to figure out where you're at with femininity. You need to answer some questions maybe take out a journal and ask yourself what do you think of femininity what makes you feel connected to femininity what about you is feminine what about you isn't feminine what would you like to change where do you want to be in five years where do you see your journey with femininity leading you why do you want to be more feminine who taught you how to be feminine or who taught you how to be masculine why do you have the views you do Start asking yourself these questions and start identifying what biases you might have against femininity, why you want to be more feminine, etc. And this does bring us to the second part, which is acknowledge your perception of femininity, either good or bad. All of us have been shaped to some extent by the modern narrative of femininity, that it is weak, chaotic, sappy, girly, pink bows, you know what I'm wearing right now, that's just girly, silly nonsense. When in reality, femininity is so much more than that, and we might not even realize we have inherent biases against it and a preference for masculinity and masculine behavior. Ask yourself, what scares you about femininity? Why do you view it the way you do? What has led to your current view of femininity? Who has influenced you the most, either towards femininity or away from it? How do you view women who actively embrace their femininity? What perceptions do you have? Do you feel like you can't be included in that? 
Do you feel like your femininity makes you a victim or a target or overly vulnerable? Try to define and figure out what biases you have and perhaps why you have them. What positive or negative messaging have you received in regards to femininity from people who you look up to, value, or even view as role models? Perhaps you've been taught that traditional femininity is weak and that it is a self-betrayal to a woman to embrace it fully. Reframing your perspective on femininity is essential if you are from the West. Again, we have that role reversal and intense celebration of women when they perform masculinity but not femininity. Feminine women are often looked down upon, teased and caricatured by the media as just being so girly and over the top and high maintenance. And I understand having those internal biases. I also wanna say if you've experienced a trauma or a crisis of identity or a difficult time in your life that has caused you to completely reject or shirk off your femininity, please know it is possible to reframe your perspective on femininity and find qualities that speak to you. Because femininity is not just girliness, it's not dressing like this, not exclusive to rich women or pretty women or young women, girly girls or married women or anything like that. It's accessible to all women. Femininity is creative, it's beautifying, it's nurturing, it's tender, it's mysterious and elegant and special. It's a compliment to masculinity and it is something to be celebrated. After you reframe your perspective on femininity, zero in on some qualities that really speak to you. What about femininity is drawing you in? Why are you on this video? Do you want to dress more femininely, behave more femininely? And what do you see inherently in yourself that is feminine? We might not all be 100% feminine from birth. I know I'm not. I've never naturally been an extremely nurturing person, but nurturing is a quality essential to being feminine and I've been able to grow in that area. I do naturally see in myself a desire to beautify things and to be creative and to create in this world and foster connection with people. I do see those feminine qualities in those areas of my personality, even though I've had to grow in the area of being extremely nurturing. I encourage you, if you've viewed yourself through a certain perspective or lens in the past, declaring that you're not feminine, saying you want no part in it, I encourage you to cast that away and not put yourself in a box and instead see what qualities within you you can embrace through the lens of femininity. Are you nurturing? Are you creative? Do you like to beautify? Do you like to create? Do you foster connections with other people or, or bring warmth to the room you're in? Do you like being elegant or mysterious? Acknowledge the feminine side of yourself, but don't view it as a weakness. View it as a strength. It is a strong quality to be able to be self-disciplined and to care for others or to be creative and create in the world or to foster connections with people and, and the world and nature your children, animals, vulnerable peoples, etc. It is good to have that feminine compassion. Tap into it and view yourself through a different lens. This brings us to the fifth tip, which is you're going to need to start implementing femininity in your day-to-day -day life. Start adding something every week. Consider changing up the way you dress. I have so many videos about that. Spend more time beautifying your outer shell. Spend more time beautifying your space, your environment. Maybe foster more connections with people. Get in touch with your emotions, your softer side. Begin learning how to nurture and tenderly care for other people. Again, femininity is not about being weak or immature or a little girl. It's about being a fully realized adult woman that has responsibility in this world, but is self-disciplined and strong and mature. And those can go hand in hand. Create nurturing environments, create beauty, create connection, and begin fostering those feminine qualities and softening the harsher sides of yourself. Next, number six, Express your journey to your loved ones. Anyone who you feel needs to know what you're going through, share about your journey and ask for their support. You might be surprised about the amount of support you will receive. It might totally surprise you. Oftentimes we can put ourselves in a box because we assume people want us to behave a certain way. But honestly, if you tell your loved ones about your journey, about why you're doing it, you know, you want to grow in your joy, you want to grow as a woman. If they are healthy, 
will support you and encourage you and you're going to need that support as you go along this journey. Share with your husband, your boyfriend, your fiance, share with your girlfriends, your mother that you're doing this journey, anyone who will support you. Avoid discussing this with people who will be really negative about it because that's just going to put a damper on your day. Again, don't be surprised if people are much more supportive than you think, but we're all going to have that bad egg once in a while. And this does bring us to our seventh and final tip, which is a little foreboding and kind of negative, but don't be surprised if you face hurdles along the way. You might have a bad day. You might personally not feel like tapping into femininity. You might feel disassociated from your old identity or wonder if you're making the right choices. Just remember that it is all a journey and you're going to have good days and bad days and that's okay. Also remember, people might make more comments about you. You might get more attention. When you start dressing and behaving more femininely, you will get more attention thrown your way. It's going to be interesting to learn how to handle it. I'm going to make a video in the future about that. But please remember that not all attention is necessarily negative attention. You just might not be used to receiving any attention towards the fact that you are a feminine woman. Just remember that you're not doing this for other people. You're doing it for yourself. That's what I think the most important thing is. You can't go on this journey doing it for other people. You need to do it as a pursuit that you're passionate about. And that's that's why you need to customize it to you. Find those feminine traits that work best for you. Find that feminine identity that you can hold on to. I, I really admire old classic women. My grandmother, my mother are incredible feminine examples. And I really think the more you can latch on to real life examples of feminine women that you admire and look up to, the, the stronger you will feel in your own decision. So, if you're currently surrounding yourself with content and people who are negative about femininity, consider switching up your content. Consume more feminine content. Have more feminine friends around you who support you. Even if they're not particularly feminine themselves, you want people who support you. Be very mindful of the content you consume. Just because someone's a woman doesn't necessarily mean that they're portraying that femininity. So seek that out. Learn as much as you can about it. I have a million and one videos about this topic, but I encourage you most of all to address the biases you have against femininity do a little soul searching, figure out why those biases exist, and then discuss with yourself. Do you want that perspective on femininity anymore? Are you ready to leave that in the past? You can transform to become more feminine. Even if you are the most tomboy person out there, you can begin expressing a little bit more femininity. And yes, it might garner you a little bit more attention, but that's not necessarily a negative thing. As you continue this journey. Remember that we all start at zero, you know, but some of us had the benefit of learning from a mother or a sister growing up. Some of us are just in cultures that celebrate femininity more. Instead of being resentful about your lot in life, I encourage you to just make up for lost time and begin embracing femininity now. Remember too, this has to come from you. I'm not saying you have to be this way. If you desire to be more feminine, then all the power to you. I truly wish you all the blessings as you embark on this journey. So in total, if you like the video, please click the like button. It does help other people find my content. If you're interested, join the feminine family by subscribing. If you're interested in more of this kind of content, it is all over my channel. You will not have a problem finding it. In total, I hope you have a wonderfully blessed and feminine week, my beautiful sisters.